to join me today for my staged home tour. So if you've been around on my channel for a while, you might be wondering why exactly am I doing a staged home tour? Well, the thing is my husband and I have sold our house and I know that might be a little bit of a shock because this was my dream home and I put so much love and effort into it, but we have decided to sell our house and it is now officially sold. So I wanted to go around with you guys and show you how I staged my house to sell so it can give you guys some ideas if you wanted to sell your own home and you wanted to stage it or even if you just want some decorating ideas for your house. So I'm going to take you guys around now and I hope this gives you some really great ideas. So this is our farmhouse. Now we've really cleaned up the front area because we usually have a water truck sitting right here so we really wanted to make sure that was off to the side and that everything was really nice and clean looking so that the people who saw it would not see our junk but would see the beautiful house that I'm about to show you. So in this front area, it used to look really trashy, so we've done a lot to this. If you wanna watch my video on my front porch makeover, you can see what it looked like beforehand. But this is what it looks like now. It's a lot nicer. We've like filled this whole area in so you don't see underneath the deck at all. Put a nice tree here. And this was basically just to make the front area look really nice. A significant life. So here is our front entryway. I have a little bench here with the fur throw and a pillow to make it feel nice and cozy when you first come in. And also if you notice there's no shoes along here. We normally have quite a few shoes sitting in our front entryway but I wanted it to look nice and clean so we cleared all of those out. And then up on the wall here, I did keep our personal pictures up just because the aesthetic of this wall looks really pretty all together and it would have looked funny if we had taken the pictures down. So that's why I left it the way it was. And then over here, I'm just gonna show you, we have a really nice light up there. And then I'll bring you over to the mirror here and the front entry table. I really simplified this, kept it nice and basic, but really elegant. I didn't keep anything too personal on here, but I just wanted it to look nice. I really find that when you have a mirror and then you layer things on it, so we have the candlesticks in front, that just looks really nice and welcoming. And then below, just some generic, just a basket and a little vase thing, whatever that thing is called, the little metal bin anyways I don't know what my words are sometimes but I just wanted that to look nice under there and then I also kept up the sign over here because it's talking about farms and farmers markets and things like that and this is a farm that we're selling so we definitely want to keep the farm theme in there and then over here we have the coat hangers which again, we just took all of the coats off because we wanted it to look nice and open, but it still has a nice aesthetic to it, so I kept it up. And then over here, we just have a little broom just to fill in the space in the wall, pretty much. Here's the powder room just off the front entryway. I'll just take you in here and show you around. I kept everything pretty clean in here. I just had a few bits of decor that I layered in front of the mirror again. And then over here, I will show you that I have just some farmhouse kind of decor on the wall. 
and then over here is the toilet which if you're gonna show a house make sure that your toilets are looking clean it always looks nice to a buyer and I emptied out all of the garbages as well because I just want to give it a really nice clean look and have people feel like they're gonna be coming into a nice clean home and like it would actually stay that way but of course it's up to them if they're gonna keep it that way but you know you want to give it that kind of effect From the bathroom, I'll take you back into the front entryway and then we'll just go around the corner here. I'll just show you what's behind this little closet. This is the back entry to the pantry and I will show you guys that when we go through the other door when we do the kitchen here in a little bit. So I'm just going to close that up for the moment. On the other side here is a closet and this is where we just keep our coats and shoes. It's kind of cleaned up but kind of not but it's kind of where we just sort of threw everything that we're not using at the moment and this is where I keep my cleaning supplies as well. So I'm just going to shut the door there. There's a reason that this is going to be staying closed for the showings but you know people are welcome to look in there if they like. So now we're going to head down the stairs. This is where my kids usually hang their aprons that they collect eggs with for the chickens but I moved those out of the way so that it would look nice and clean. So coming down the stairs here this is our mudroom which I don't know if I've even ever shown you guys this mudroom before in all of my videos. So up until recently all of these walls were just the same color but we recently painted the bottom part white and put some trim along and some hooks so that it could actually be a usable mud room. And normally we have quite a few shoes that are along the edges and a lot of coats and things like that, but we cleared all of that out so that it would look nice and open and people could envision themselves putting their stuff here instead. So I'll just take you down and show you around. This is a huge bench that Jeff made and so it's nice for you know sitting on you can put shoes and stuff under there and then this dresser here is where we put outdoor items like toques and mitts and things like that as well as we have some hot tub supplies in there as well because if we go right out that door there you're gonna see the hot tub in a moment but I got a few things to show you guys first and yeah this is how it looks over everything we have these huge huge ceilings in here and the reason for this is because it's the same height as the garage and so that's why it is absolutely giant in here obviously we don't need to have a roof that high but I'll take you guys in the garage here now this garage is a little bit messy but compared to what it used to look like it's actually pretty good turn the lights on so it's a three car garage and you know a lot of times we were never even able to fit our vehicle in here because we used to have so much junk and we have cleared so much out. So I'm actually pretty proud of this and it doesn't look too bad. I mean yeah there's still a little bit of junk I guess in here but we're going through it and I think we're actually going to get rid of a lot of stuff especially my husband's tools and stuff over there he said in our next house he doesn't want to be doing like too many house projects like he has been doing for like most of his life since we've been married he's been always doing house projects so we're hoping to get rid of a lot of that stuff but in any case it's a really nice garage and as you can see the ceiling is giant 
And there's another reason for that, and I'm gonna show you guys in a moment here. So we're gonna come right through here. And then you might be wondering, what is this door for? Again, this is a room I don't think I have ever taken you guys in. So this is gonna be interesting. So this, i turn the light on in here, is a golf simulator room. Yep. It's insane. It's, I, it's something that we thought we would use a lot of. Turns out, we actually don't use it a lot, but it's absolutely beautiful in here. We have it set up so that people could maybe think of this as possibly a movie room, and so that's why we have it like that, but we did keep the golf mat just out so that people could also see. You could use it as a golf simulator room, and then here, I'll just give you guys kind of a shot over here, so that's why the roof is so giant in here. As you can see up there, that's a place for where you could put a projector. We don't have the simulator set up at the moment just because you have to have cords everywhere on the floor for it to be set up, because it has to go from here to the computer, and it just doesn't look very nice for showings, so that's why we don't have it set up, but it is a working one and it does actually work. The reason that we built this gigantic room behind our garage is because in our last house, my husband built this golf simulator and it was sitting in our double garage. And the thing is, we could never use our garage as an actual garage, so we thought when we built this house, we'll just extend the garage in the back, make a really nice room behind it, and then he could use his golf simulator there. The thing is, is that the farm got us so busy that we never actually ended up using this room as a golf simulator room for very long because the thing was is that this ended up being a storage room and then it was a guest bedroom and then for the most part it's just had a lot of junk in it. So this is the first time that it's actually looked this nice. As you can see these French doors are so pretty and I'm gonna take you guys outside now and you can see out what the hot tub and the back deck looks like. I still recall the first time I saw you. I was so nervous to talk. So here is our backyard area. As you can see, there's just a fence along the inner yard. We actually have 10 acres, but this is just kind of like the nice yard area. And my husband just recently built this deck. We did build this with the intention of selling our house, but it was something that we wanted to do before even when we didn't think we were gonna sell our house because it was just dirt around here. So he built this here and then he also built it all the way around so that it goes around the hot tub so that you can get in if you come from the mud room door. You just come over here and there's a nice little step. And so we have spent many nights enjoying this hot tub and looking up at the beautiful sky and watching the stars at night. And then over here we have the sandbox. Now normally my yard is just littered with toys and so I got the kids to put all the toys in the sandbox and close the lid so that it looks nice and clean out here. As well as we put the trampoline kind of more in the corner so that they could really see the beautiful yard. And then over here we have the swing which my kids spend so much time on as well. So over here under the larger deck we have some wood chips and stuff because before it was just dirt and it was not very nice looking at all. We do have a few wood chips that keep coming out because we have some chickens that like to hop the fence and then dig around in here which is really annoying but we're doing what we can with it. And for the most part, we try and keep, you know, it looking nice, but with chickens, you know, they just, they love to dig and stuff. So I'll take you over here to the top deck and we'll just go up the stairs here. And you can get a really nice look at the yard from up here as well. So this is what the back of the house looks like. If you're coming out from the dining room area, we have this nice deck up here. One thing you might notice that is missing is patio furniture. And the reason for that is because we don't have any nice patio furniture. We just use camping chairs from Costco, which are really comfy, but not the nicest looking. And the thing was, is that I didn't want to invest in patio furniture because I don't know what my new house is going to look like. I don't know what it's going to fit. So we decided not to make the investment in that. And then just instead, just leave everything nice and clear. And then the new homeowners can just sort of envision whatever they want. So here I'm just gonna give you guys a really nice once over of our property. You can see the little chicken coop over there. 
and then we have the hill and we have all the trees and our yard goes way way back as where you can see where the grass kind of turns color back there that's the end of our property so it's 10 acres over there we have a nice little fire pit and then over here is a nice little fenced area too if someone wanted to have a horse or goats or something like that Sky is beautiful and so are you I wanna make it up to you, start something new We're back in the front entryway again and I'm gonna take you guys into the great room and I'll show you the living room first Now this is one of my favorite rooms in the house I absolutely love my fireplace and the chandelier and the shiplap ceiling and the beam above everything in here i just absolutely adore and so i'm just going to show you guys how i staged everything so over here you can see i have this little tray that i put together if you notice this piece of wood is actually the same shape as that piece of wood on the top and that's because my husband cut this off the top of that because I wanted that a certain height and now I'm using it as a little tray. So I kept a lot of the tones very neutral in here, a lot of whites, greens, and woods, and I didn't have anything on the little side tables here, kept it nice and clean, and I just want it to look like someone else can see themselves in here and see how I kind of designed everything Everything is very clean looking. Like I said, I didn't want to overdo it too much because I know in the past I have a tendency to sometimes overdo it with decor. It's something that I really love, but I really tried to keep everything neutral and simple so that the house didn't look cluttered up at all. So I love this rug that's in front of the fireplace. It's just so nice and cozy. I feel like it's inviting you in to come and snuggle up in front of it. And then on top of the fireplace, again, keeping it pretty simple, but I do love this old window pane. It really fits with the scale above the fireplace, and so that's what I really like about it. And I also like how it contrasts a lot in the color, like the white and the dark, it really pops. So that's why I did that there. And then I'll just take you over here. Again, everything's just really simple and neutral, and I'll just show you this little door thing that my husband created. It's so pretty, that is definitely coming with us. I absolutely love that, so I had to showcase that, of course. And then if you see over here, I used to have a whole lot of stuff sitting on top here, and I cleared that all out because, like again, I said, I do not want it to look cluttered. You know, you wanna get rid of a lot of clutter when you are showing a house. You just want people to feel like they can put their own stuff there instead of seeing your stuff. So I'll just, give you a once around again here. It's like a laundry. You're on the wrong team. Oh, there's a light and there's a fire coming out of me. Every time I see I'm gonna show you the dining room now. So you just come right across here. And this is our dining room area. It has a very large table in here because it's scaled to the space. It's a very large area. So I wanted something obviously that fit the space. And I mean, this isn't necessarily staged. This is the actual table that we use all of the time. But I will show you something that is staged. If you notice these bookshelves over here, all of the books are turned around. Now this is something that I obviously wouldn't do in real life, but it looks really pretty. If you're using books just for display units, then turning them around is something that will definitely add to a neutral decor. But of course, this is not how we live our actual life. 
If you guys don't know already, we are a homeschooling family, so this area is usually just full of tons of books and games and curriculum and all sorts of things like that. But of course, I just want it to look really nice for the buyer and I want them to envision themselves putting their own things on the shelves or putting their own shelving units here. So that's why it looks the way it looks. But you know what? I think it looks really pretty overall. I've heard a story, I've heard it said I've come to believe that love is a bet Sometimes you win it, sometimes you lose it Sometimes it calls you right in the move Come to my table, come to my bed, go easy my home Now we're gonna move into the kitchen. As you see, I have my stools all nicely lined up there, and I have the countertops cleaned off for the most part, especially on my peninsula here, because I wanted the buyers to be able to see how much counter space there is, so I wanted it nice and open. Over here, I did keep my blender out just because there's a bit of a gap between the counter and the shelf and it just fills in that area really nicely. And then of course I kept my decor on because it's all really nice and neutral and it would look funny if I didn't have some decor on there. So I wanted to show the buyers kind of how they could decorate the place up if they wanted to. And then over here is my farm sink, which is just beautiful on its own. I absolutely love that sink. I'm gonna miss it if we don't have one in our next house. And over here, I did keep the mixer out just because it filled in this corner really nicely. And then over here, I kept my coffee pot out just because I use my Keurig every day and that's just a necessity and it'd be such a pain in the butt to have to pull that out every day. And then just in the cupboard here is where I kind of hid some stuff that I would normally keep on my countertops, such as the knives. And I know that's not like super safe having the knives down here, but when we're done with the showings, then we put the knives back up on the counter where they're a little bit more safe for Clara. And then the toaster as well just comes out when it's needed and then the kids put it back. So that way our counters just stay nice and clean. Now on top of the fridge was where my husband and I kept a lot of junk. When we didn't know where to put something, a lot of times it ended up there and we thought it was kind of hidden, but honestly you could usually see the stuff just sort of piling up there. So we cleared that off, as well as I used to have a bunch of magnets and stuff on the side there. So I just put that here in the drawer and they're just in a little baggie right here, so we can put those back later if we want to. Also, look at my drawer. It's still pretty organized from when I did my drawer organization video. Just wanted to show you guys that. I'm still really proud of this drawer. Anyways, so I'll close that up. Now I'll just take you guys into the pantry here. Now if you've been around my channel quite often, then you've probably visited my pantry quite often as well. I've done quite a few makeovers on this place. Right now it's actually not looking its best. I have had it looking better than this, but it is what it is for now. It's tidied up. As you can see here, that's the door that leads back out to the front entryway. And so I just kept it, you know, pretty decent looking, but I don't know, I don't think this pantry is winning any awards at the moment, but people can get a feel for kind of what it looks like and how they can use it. Give me your pretty, give me your messy, give me your happy, give me your sad. I may be staying, I may be going, I may be left, I may fall apart. So now I'm going to take you guys down the hall towards the bedrooms. Down there is the basement. I'll take you guys there in a moment. Over here is our games closet and homeschool supply closet. It's a little bit of a mess right now, so I'm just going to keep that closed for the moment. And then I'll take you over to my girls' bedrooms. This one is Carly's room and it's really super cute. I love this huge light that's in here. 
and we just have it really nice and cleaned up for the most part. She has a lot more toys than this, but she really cleaned them up nicely, kept everything very nice and simple. I'm very proud of her. And then I'm just gonna show you guys in her closet here. It is a little bit more of a mess because this is kind of where she stuck everything, but you know what, for a nine-year-old, I think this looks not too bad, but in any case, the people can see what it looks like with the shelving and the hooks and everything, so if they wanna put their own stuff here, they get an idea for what it looks like at least, even if it's not perfect. So I'll just close that up there. So going from Carly's room, now we're gonna go into Clara's room. And I really tidied up the space in here. There used to be a play kitchen and there was so many plastic toys everywhere. So we really cleared that up. I love this little tent. I think it looks so nice. For one thing, it's neutral, but it's just nice and cozy. It's a really nice piece for showing the home. And then we put all of her stuffed animals in the basket over there and then just made her bed really simply. Just kept her dresser over here and then her closet has some stuff in it too and it has the same setup as Carly's so it has the shelves and the hooks and everything in there. So now I'll take you guys over to the main bathroom of the house. So right as you enter there is a linen closet and I'll just open that up for you. It is actually organized for the most part. And then over here I have the place really nice and cleaned up. I really love putting vases with flowers in front of mirrors as you can see. So I think that looks really, really pretty right there. Great for showing the home. And then over here I have the wonderful tile work behind the tub. And then I also have this ladder here that I decorated up nicely in neutral tones so that it really just complements the bathroom. So let it all out of me Let it all out of me Oh, I will hold you in the dark Make you forget about what's wrong Let it all out of me So if you come here from the bathroom and around the corner, this is my master bedroom which is one of my absolute favorite rooms in the house. I think mostly because of this barnwood wall. This is real barnwood right here, and I love it with this metal frame against it. It's just absolutely gorgeous, and so again, one of my favorite things about this entire house. So this is normally how I decorate my bedroom. It's not exactly staged or anything because this is how I normally have it, but it really works for staging the home as well. I like to keep everything cozy and calm and not have a whole lot of stuff just cluttering up the space. I love to have it nice and open. And I did keep up my kids' pictures here just because I think the wall would have looked really blank without it. I kind of use pictures as something to display like my family and stuff, but I also use the frames as an aesthetic for the wall. So that's why I kept those up there, even though a lot of times they do say like, take down family pictures because you want people to feel like they can be in the space. But you know, I did keep up some of that. So now I'll take you guys over to the ensuite, but first I wanna show you this Barnwood sliding door, which is absolutely gorgeous. My son and husband made that quite a while ago. And then over here is the bathtub, and I wanted it to look really spa-like, so I did add this wood piece as well as a candle so that it just feels like you could, you know, read a book in here and have a bubble bath and just have it so welcoming and cozy. So I really wanted to emulate that feeling in here and then I'll also show you the chandelier above the tub because it's just so pretty and then moving over here we have of course the toilet again that's not too interesting and then everything here I just wanted it to look really nice kind of showcase the cupboards and the mirror and everything like that so just kind of kept it pretty simple but people could just see how much storage and everything there was in here and then over here is the shower. I mean, it's not too exciting around here, but you know, they're able to see all the stuff that's in the shower and how nice it is. And then I'll take you guys over to the walk-in closet over here. 
Now we have all of these built-in shelves which are so nice and I actually decluttered a lot of my closet already. This isn't just so much stage, this is how I actually live and you can probably tell over here who is the minimalist and who is not in our family because this is my husband's side. And then here's my side, which is all color coordinated in like probably half the clothes, but that's okay. I love him. And besides, he's the one that actually built all of these for me, so I really, really, really appreciate my husband and he has put so much work into this place and it's absolutely gorgeous and awesome and it allows me to organize things, so that is what really makes my heart happy. But as far as showing the home, if you do have a cluttered closet, really think about decluttering it, maybe trying to maybe hide stuff somewhere because then, you know, people just want to be able to see the shelving. They want to be able to see where they can hang their clothes and things like that. So definitely declutter. It's good for you anyways, but even if you are planning on keeping everything, just hide stuff for a while while you're trying to show your home. I can see it in your eyes that you're shaking cause you're holding it back. All right, now we're gonna head down to the basement. So when we first moved into this house, the basement was not complete, so we have definitely put a lot of work into completing this area. So we have the cute little bench seat over here, and then a nice table. This was intended as a homeschool space at first, but then we decided to sell the house, so I decided I didn't wanna have the walls all cluttered with like homeschool supplies and maps and diagrams and everything, so we haven't actually used it a whole lot. Over here we have a nice little bar area. It has a wine fridge, and then to display this and stage it, I put some wine glasses with a little bottle of wine on a tray because I just thought that really completes the area and I thought it looked really nice. And then moving over here is our media room and I have the couch just all set up with the projector and screen. Now, this is actually not hooked up at the moment because to do so, I would have had wires coming out of there to there and it would have looked like not very nice because we haven't gotten it all set up yet with having wires in the walls. So just to make it look nice and clean, it's actually all disconnected at the moment, but people can kind of see of how it could be once they put everything together. And then back here is where we have our little weight room and treadmill. So, you know, people can definitely see how this this could look nice all together and how that they could use the space. Also, I want to take you guys just around the corner here because this is kind of like my little secret room. This is our storage room and this is where I hide all of my home decor. I've actually gone through quite a bit of it, but you know, I'm a little bit of a hoarder when it comes to home decor, especially for Christmas stuff. So this is where I keep all of it. Come this way, let me be a friend My home's open wide We can live here So just off of the homeschool room, we have another little room here that I was intending as using as a little craft room. It's never really been used for much, but I just left some of my craft supplies and stuff in there so that people could kind of envision what they could use this room for. And then it coming right over here is our laundry room. So that's what it looks like. It's a laundry room. Not too exciting, but you know, it is what it is. It's nice and cleaned up. And also I just made sure to empty the garbage and stuff in here too so that it just doesn't look gross, but everything looks nice and clean and they can see what its use is for. Okay, so now from the media room, we're gonna go down the hall. Now this is the utility room and also where my cat has her litter. So you can see there we got a little cat door for that. This is a linen closet. This is a bathroom, which is not completely finished. We would have liked to have finished it, but we also really wanted to sell the house. So my husband only had time to do part of it, but we did develop the bathroom down here so we could say that we had a fourth bathroom in the house. So this is what it looks like half developed, but you know, I think people can see at least that, you know, that they can put a shower in here. It's like basically the only thing that needs to be done in the house. So 
hopefully they'll just be able to kind of see past that or block it out and think, well, we can just do that later, you know? So that's what our bathroom looks like. So now I'll move on to the bedrooms at the end of the hall. This is my son's room to the left. This is his train table, which is so awesome. It used to be just regular plywood, but I did get him to paint it black because I wanted it to look nicer in here. And it's not such an eyesore anymore. It actually looks pretty neat. And then he has his bed over here and then his closet as well. And so this is, you know, a teenage boy's room. So I would say that this is actually pretty clean and tidy for someone who's 14 years old. So I'm actually pretty proud of him for this. There is not a lot on the wall other than that clock, but you know, I would say that it looks pretty nice for the most part. And then going across the hall, this is my teenage daughter's room. Now my daughter, bless her soul, is a clutter bug. Now you wouldn't think that by seeing this room the way it is, but she loves to have these shelves just cluttered with stuff. So I'm really proud of her for decluttering her room for the showings. So I said, you know, after we sell the house, then she can just bring it all back in if she wants to. But I think it looks so nice in here. The color scheme looks really good because it's like greens and whites and grays and I absolutely love it in here and I think she does too. So it really showcases a really nice teenage girl's room. I couldn't see what you saw in me Ooh, na, na, na. But you showed me how to believe Still gets me so at the end of the hall is the guest bedroom and I just decorated this up really nicely with a little bit of neutral decor up there and then just kept everything quite simple in here. So I just put a little bit of decor up on the dresser and then just made the bed and just kept it really nice and neutral in here because we do actually use this as a guest bedroom. And then over here, I just thought this tray was really cute and I put some magazines and stuff just so that it feels really welcoming for whoever stays here. You know, this could be like heaven. I am right here doing my best to make you feel like I do. And just for a second, looking at me, making me feel like maybe you want this too. Give me your attention. Thank you so much for watching. And I know I didn't go into detail at all as to exactly why we decided to sell our house, but in my next video, I'm going to be doing an extreme clean where everything is emptied out of our house and I'm going to be cleaning the whole place. And in that video, I will be explaining our reasons as to why we decided to sell and why we're moving on. So stay tuned for that one. And I will see you guys in my next video. Take care.